Hey guys, welcome back to Aura Life. Today we're gonna have some fun. I'm gonna teach you how to make a 3D candy cuff. Welcome back to Aura Life. Thanks again for showing up and watching this video. Today we're gonna have some fun and we're gonna get creative and I'm gonna show you guys how to create a 3D candy cuff. So if you're new here, first off, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. I'm Ash and I'm a rave mom and I'm a mom in real life. And my content is all based around self-care, my bucket list adventures, and of course, raves and festivals. Now, I have been making candy for a while now, but it hasn't been until recently that I've really started to up my game in my candy making and start to create some really larger, more complex candy. And I've done my research, I have looked around for YouTube tutorials, and there's some really good ones here that I'll link down below that helped me. But I thought that they could use a reboot and I could share with you a couple of different techniques that I like and kind of how I've been building these and color combinations that I think are really cool. Candy making is so much fun. It's another extension of self-expression um, and it really extends plur. It, I really love sharing pieces or creating pieces for people and then seeing them and meeting them in person and exchanging with them. And a cup is like extra special because you put extra time and care into it and I think people really appreciate these more elaborate pieces <laughs> because it just shows the time and the effort and the artistry that you put into it so these are the candy cups that I'm talking about it's a 3d cuff um, and there's two steps to creating these there's a base X cup and then you will add the beading around it to make it 3d to make this um, tutorial easier for everyone to kind of digest, I'm going to film this tutorial in two parts. The first part is going to be how to make an, a basic X cuff for your base and then I'm going to show you how you can build and create the 3D effect around that in part two. So let's get started. All right, so to get started, the first thing you're going to need are some base beads. You're gonna need some string. I use this stretch magic, but a lot of people also use kind of like this, like elastic stretch. And you're gonna need some accent charms and accent beads or connector beads. And they can be any color. You can have so much fun with this. And you're gonna need some embellishment beads too. And a pair of scissors. And I also like to use a plastic needle. It just helps me string along all of the beads. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna make your single. You're gonna put on your beads in groups of three. You're gonna use two base color beads and one connector bead. And you're gonna do this and add them on until you have 30 beads on your single. 30 is kind of the typical number and it's the ideal size for a cuff, uh, I have really tiny <laughs> wrists, so it's perfect for me, but if you have bigger wrists or if you want it to kind of fit around maybe even your arm or higher up on your arm, you can always make it bigger. And if you're gonna make it bigger, just make sure that you're adding in groups of three. So it would go from 30 to 33. The next thing you're gonna do is tie off your single. And I tie it off over and over again, I make sure that I pull it tight, not too tight, because you don't want your proportions to be off on your cuff. What'll happen is the bottom uh, single will be really tight and the rest of your cuff will be loose, but tight enough that it's nice and taut and that all of the beads are gonna be nice and uniform. And then I will cut off that little tail. And as you see here, I pulled a whole bunch of string and cut off the end. So now you see I'm coming out of the connector bead. The connector bead in this case for me are the pink beads. So I'm coming out of that one and it's kind of going on top of two of the base beads. So I'm going to add a base bead, a connector bead, and a base bead. Now what I've learned for this, for your X base cuff, when you're first starting out, I recommend that you alternate the colors 
of your connector beads. It's going to help you understand where you should weave and what beads you should skip. So yeah, the first tip that is new here um, compared to some of the other tutorials is to alternate the color of your connector beads. So I'm going to go between this hot pink and the clear beads. So what I'm doing is I'm adding my base bead, the connector bead, and then the base bead, and then I'm going through the next hot pink bead, okay? So you'll see that it creates little peaks that kind of look like mountains. So you do that all the way around. So now we're kind of reaching the end. Again, I'm gonna go through the hot pink bead. I'm gonna pull that through. This is the tricky part because you're ending the second row so pull 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 and then the next thing you're like well i don't have anywhere to go so i need to go up so that i can start my next row what you're gonna do is obviously here you can see i'm coming out of the connector bead i'm gonna pull it taut so that it's nice and uniform and then I'm gonna go up two of the beads that are next to that connector bead. So I'm gonna go through one of the white beads and then I'm gonna go through the clear bead. Slowing it down here so you can see. So I'm gonna go through there and that's gonna help me create the next row. All right, so now we're ready to start a new row. So you're gonna repeat that. Now remember, I'm skipping, or I'm alternating beads. So now my base bead, or my, base, my connector bead is going to be hot pink. So white, hot pink, white. Now I'm gonna go through, <laughs> now I'm gonna go through the clear bead because we're in the next row. We're gonna go through the clear bead. See how easy that is to see when you're alternating colors? I'm gonna pull that all the way through. Oops. All right. So we're gonna repeat that all the way around. Now when you're starting your cuff, you're gonna notice that it looks flat and it's not gonna look like a cuff yet. But as you continue your rows, it'll start to form into the shape of a cuff. So just be patient with it. Going again through the clear connector bead. And now you can see we're finishing this row. So as you see, I can I start to pull, and I'm constantly pulling it tight so that it stays nice and neat and not loose. So I'm pulling it tight. And I did the same thing that I did with the previous row. So what I did is went through that last connector bead and then went up two and then I'm starting a new row. So now I am in the third row. And you're just gonna keep going until you've completed kind of two or three X's up. And I'll show you that here in a second. All right, so I'm completing that final row. And as you can see, my cuff is forming, but it's still open. And the next thing you're gonna do is you're going to do the final row, which instead you're just gonna use two connectors and that's gonna help you close your cuff. Now you're gonna ask me like, when do I know that it's time to close? 
So this is what you're gonna wanna look for. You're gonna wanna see that there is your single row and then there's two X's and then you're gonna have a single row. So it's kind of like bunny ears. Like there's two whites at the bottom, two X's, and then two whites at the top. And that's how you know that you've kind of gone up enough rows. So I'm just gonna go all the way around here. Sorry, I keep having to move my camera a little bit so that you can see clearly. But I'm gonna go around, closing my cuff with those two beads, pulling it through, pulling it taut, so that it's forming. And now you can kind of see that the cuff is completely closing. completed that entire row, I'm pulling it through, and now I'm going to tie it off. So you're gonna pull it tight, and then what I like to do is, let me arrange this here so you can see a little bit better. I like to go through a space where, in between where it's coming out of the bead, so maybe like in between that next row, and then you just do kind of a loop and you tie it off just like you tied off your single. So it's coming out of one of those hot pink connector beads and I am just gonna keep going through that over and over and over again because I don't want to put it on someone's arm or their wrist and it completely falls apart. So this Looks like it's tedious, but it is so important. And then don't forget to cut off the tail. All right, that's the X base cuff, guys. Take a look. So that's how to create the basic cuff, the basic X cuff. Please stay tuned for the next video where I show you how to create the 3D effect, all of the beading around, like I said, I mentioned. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions or if you have any techniques that you find helpful, make sure that you comment down below. If you like this video, make sure you click the like button and make sure that you click subscribe to get notified when new videos upload and you can click the little bell to really stay on top of all the new uploads. I really appreciate you guys. I just am so thankful that you follow and you watch along and I'm excited to share more of this content with you guys. Okay, until next time, positive self, positive wealth. Bye guys.